once was a little princess who was happy and carefree. Her life was full with joy and glee. She lived with her parents in a small, charming village until one day, tragedy struck and death pillaged. She did not understand what she had seen, how life could end so cruel and mean. She cried and asked what had occurred. She listened, but not a sound was heard. What happened was wrong, and that she knew. But how to fix it, she could not construe. One day, the little princess grew up tall. She was strong and wise, but most of all, she had a mission, a noble quest, to find eternal life, the cure to death. She asked the villagers, young and old, fled, 
to follow where the path now led. It led her to a gate so tall, and around the gate a strong stone wall. She found herself in a beautiful garden. It began to soften a heart once hardened. In the garden was a tree so strong, beneath its branches she belonged. As she sat beneath the tree, she heard a call. Come near to me. In the garden there was a man. His voice was soft as he held out his hand. What makes you feel as if you belong? Outside this garden, life feels wrong. The villagers are content in their ways. The vampire's love will fade away. The witch's spells would never do. But now, it let me hear to you. It's true. This is not how it should be. From death and sin, we are to flee. You are wise to say that death is wrong. For it is in this garden you belong. A place where life is pure and good. A place where you are understood. You were meant for something more than vampire's love and witch's lore. Than cruel death at hands of men. Or peaceful sleep at life's long end. knew then her quest was done, but life at last had just begun.